Hi, and welcome to yet another face maker video tutorial. I am Nuno, and today we're going to talk about containers. Yes, containers. So what are containers? Uh, containers are basically, uh, think of them as boxes where you organize stuff. And you organize them by data type. So imagine you have a drawer or a set of drawers and you organize your socks uh, by color. And that's what containers do. They organize your widgets by data types. So heart rate, steps and so on. Okay, so I'll be talking about um, containers today, both for w Huawei and a MSFIT. Okay, they're slightly different and they have many flavors. So <laughs> let's start with Huawei first. And if you notice up here, you have five icons. These are basically main containers. So if I click them, you'll see you have a background, a widget, date, time, and the always on display. So these are the main containers for Huawei. You can add a background, a main widget container, and we'll be focusing on this one, okay? Because all the others, uh, besides always on display, we won't be talking about it today, um, all these only allow you to put simple widgets inside. So an image, and you load, let's load one from the library, just like that. So this is a simple widget, an image or uh, an animation, for example. Uh, so you can only put uh, normal widgets inside the background, the date and the time. But the main widget container allows you to put other containers inside. So let's delete time, date, and background because they're a, a little uninteresting <laughs> in this case. So let's delete them and focus on the main widget container. So if you press this uh, plus button here, you'll notice that you have containers only. So you can only add containers here. And I added one, and if I press this plus button here, you'll notice that you can only add custom containers. I won't be talking about uh, custom containers right now. For now, we'll talk about these sub-containers and the widgets you can put inside. So, I selected, and to be able to add other widgets inside other than custom containers you have to set the data type first in here so let's select um, steps okay and now you'll notice that this container now has another name steps container and you can uh, tell facemaker to auto rename containers here on the preferences i also uh, enable this always on the preferences because that way when you select the data type of the container FaceMaker will rename the container and it's very handy okay so let's proceed and we now have a steps container here ready to uh, receive widgets and if we press this button here now you'll notice that you can add normal widgets. So an image, let's load a stencil from the library here. And okay, this will be for steps. So let's select the steps icon, this one for example, and let's lock it, the widget, or rather the container, and enable the widget, the image widget. And now let's resize it, you know, place it up here. And let's add another widget, an image combo this time, and select steps, data type, and press generate. And there you go. Just like that, you have a container that has an image and an image combo inside. 
So, I organized uh, the data by putting these two inside the, con the steps container, okay? So, many people ask me, um, how do you do those shortcuts that when people press the uh, watch screen, it takes them to the uh, steps app or the heart rate app? Well, containers do that, okay? Containers are not only um, a box where you put stuff inside, they also act as a shortcut. Let me show you here. I'll select the uh, steps container and you'll see if it's not locked here, you'll see that you have this box on the screen, okay? And this box is the container um, tap area. So the, these properties you see here define the coordinates and the size of the container. And this is because you can use this container, and let me resize it here, to act like a shortcut. So basically for Huawei, any container, any uh, container under the widget main container is a shortcut. Okay, so keep this in mind. If you want to create a steps shortcut, for example, the container will act as a shortcut and you can define its location on the X and Y coordinates and also the size of the tap area that you can either tweak here, just like this, or simply pressing control and resizing the area like this. And remember, uh, you can resize by um, doing it by pressing control and going into any of the edges of the corners or the edges, okay? So now we define the coordinates and the uh, size, the tap area of the container. And when you click this area on the watch face, it will take you into the steps app with more info about the steps and how many steps you made that day and all that, okay? So this is a normal container for Huawei. So now let's say I want to add another container here and this one, instead of having normal widgets just like this one here, instead of having normal widgets, I wanted to have selectable widgets. Now I'm going to hide the steps container or even delete it. We don't need it anymore, okay? And now let's work on this one. And instead of selecting a data type here, I am going to add a custom widget. There we go. So from now on, inside this container, we can only add custom widgets, just like this, okay? And now on these custom widgets, we can select the data type. So let's say for this one, I'll select uh, the steps data type. There we go. And here now I can add images and normal widgets. So let's go into the library and load one of those uh, steps icons. Uh, let's say this one, okay. And now let's resize it and put it here. Oh, I grabbed the container. Now, you should always lock it and unlock the widget you're working with. And you'll see that if I click another widget, this one, the image one, will disappear. And I'll explain that in a few minutes. Just hang in there, okay? So I select this image here and I place it here, up here, okay? And now let's add an image combo. Select the image combo data type here and press generate. So now we have a complete uh, widget that shows step information, okay? With an icon and the number of steps. And this is inside the steps custom, okay? If I press another custom container, that one disappears. And why is that? Well, 
because it's inside a main container and the main container doesn't have a default custom widget selected. So I'll set it to the steps custom here. And you'll notice that you have the other two also and they're selectable, okay? If I switch to custom two, since it doesn't have anything, it doesn't have content, nothing shows, okay? But if I uh, select the steps custom as the default one, you'll notice that uh, now we can see the steps, okay? And on the watch, this will be the one that will be selectable, okay? So, how does this, this work on the watch? Well, uh, you have this uh, tap area here that it's not that important, but we can set it uh, to the correct size and all that. Uh, what happens is uh, for Huawei, when you long press the watch screen, you'll be taken into an option screen that shows a thumbnail of the watch face and a gear icon here on the lower part of the screen, okay? And if you click it, you'll be taken into another screen where you can select the data that you can uh, show here. So right now we have three options. One of them is uh, steps custom and these also need to have data assigned to them. So here, let's set them to uh, heart rate, just like that. And then, just like we did for the steps, let's load an icon like this and select an art uh, icon, this one for example. Let's make it small, put it there, and then add an image combo. Select art rate, generate, align it to the center, and put it there. Okay, so now we have two custom containers inside this main container and on the watch you'll be able to switch between steps or heart rate okay and you can do that by long pressing the screen selecting the gear icon and then clicking this area here that will have a preview that will be shown by this main container and then select between heart rate uh, data or steps data, okay? So let's finish this and add a new one and this one will be for, um, let's say, calories, okay? And inside, I'm gonna add an image widget, go into the library, load a stencils, um, a stencil for calories, resize it, Place it more or less in the same spot as the heart rate uh, icon and the step sack icon and then add an image combo. Select the data type, press generate and there you go. So now we have three selectable widgets and you can set the default one here on the main container. You can set the one you want the watch to show. Okay, so it's useless to say that you should make these three uh, custom widgets or custom containers more or less the same size, okay? They should be always contained inside this area. So you define this area here, like that, and all the three, each of them should be contained inside that space, okay? And when you long press the screen, you'll be taken into that option screen I spoke about. Uh, you'll have that gear here, so you click the gear icon and you'll be able to select the widget you want to appear here. And for that, uh, you can um, create a preview of the widget that will be uh, shown on the watch. So let me show you here. You press snapshot. And Fastmaker takes a snapshot of uh, these two widgets of what will appear if you have it selected on the watch, okay? And you can also create a border. So let's generate. And there you go. So on the watch, when you press the gear icon, 
and you have the preview of the watch face, this will be shown along, along with this red border. So these three should be always the same size. So keep that in mind, okay? And it will work correctly. And this was a description of uh, custom containers for Huawei that will allow you to have selectable containers or rather widgets depending on the data type on the watch. Okay, so this is how it works for Huawei. And let's delete them. Let's go and change this to a mass fit. I'll select, uh, so I'll go with uh, GTR4 this time. And for uh, MS Fit, you also have the normal containers. So here you have the background that allows you to add normal widgets inside, you know, and generate text and all that. Uh, so uh, this is how it works uh, for MS Fit also. You can import an image and have normal widgets inside, okay? So I won't be talking about um, these kind of containers. Instead, I will uh, talk about the widget main container also here. So inside the widget main container, you can also have normal containers, just like digital dial, for example, and have hours displayed, not importing them, but I'll, uh, or uploading them, I will generate. So there you go. So these are normal containers. And uh, just like for Huawei, you can have normal widgets inside. But how about selectable uh, containers? Just like I've shown you for Huawei. Well, I developed something similar for uh, MSFit. And for MSFit, to create selectable containers, you have to add a container here, one of these. And for this, then inside you can add normal uh, containers. So let's say we want to create the same thing as we did for Huawei minutes ago. So I'll add steps, and inside of steps, I'll add an image, load an icon that represents steps, this one, this time, we'll use this one. Let's make it small. And voila, this is the container here interfering. So let's lock it and unlock the steps uh, image. And let's put it here, okay? And now let's add an image combo. Go knock the library, let's press generate. And there we go. Align it to the center and make it smaller. And remember, all these uh, uh, selectable containers should be more or less the same size. So if I unlock this container here and uh, switch to it, oh, uh, this is disappearing. Why it's disappearing? Because as for Huawei, you must select a default custom container here. And the, uh, since I had the steps one, I'll set it as default, just like that. And now you can see it, even if you select other containers, okay? So let's go back into the container. And as you've seen, I selected this steps container as the default one, okay? And now let's set the coordinates, the tap area for this main container, just like that. So, if you remember, for Huawei, whenever you clicked, or rather, you were defining the area where the sub-containers, these custom widgets were building, would be confined. But for MSFit, the container is different. So, for Huawei, these containers work as shortcuts for the uh, Steps uh, app, for example. And for a mass fit, this container will work as a switch button. So imagine we have another container 
here inside that shows heart rate, okay? And let's build it. So add an image, go into the library and load one of those uh, icons for heart rate. So this one, for example. And let's resize it. And there we go. <laughs> I should have locked it. Let's go back into the uh, heart rate icon and place it. There you go. And now let's have an image combo. So here, press generate, align it to the center and put it beneath the icon. So there we go. Now we have a selectable uh, container for the heart rate data type, which, which has inside an image and an image combo, okay? And it's inside this main container, okay? So this main container now has steps as the default. And if I press just about any widget on the watch face, you see, uh, the steps will show, okay? Now imagine we want to define the heart rate as the default one. So you select the main container here and set the heart rate as the default one. And this one will always show, okay? Even when you install it on the watch. And if you want to switch it, if you remember for Huawei, you would have to long press the screen, press the gear icon, and then select the widget you want to show here, either heart rate or steps for a mass fit. All you have to do is press this area the tap area of the container. So once you press it, it will switch from heart rate to steps and show a toast message here on the upper part saying steps on. And then if you click it again, it will switch to heart rate and a toast message will be shown up here saying heart rate on. And you can customize the, the message that shows so if you want simply to show heart data on, you would change this uh, custom um, container name to heart data. And here we can also do the same for steps. So change it to steps data. And when you press this container, this tap area, it will switch between these two data types and show the message art data on or steps data on. So this is the main difference between Huawei and MSFIT, at least concerning the uh, custom widgets you can build on them. So for Huawei, to switch between these two, you would have to go into that gear icon, select this main container, and then switch to the heart data or steps data. On MS Fit, when you click this area, it will switch automatically between heart data and steps data and show a message, okay? I mean, there are custom widgets just like I've shown you for uh, Huawei. There are those kinds of custom widgets for MS Fit where you can select them but I made it this way to be simpler. This is my go on the custom widgets uh, concept, which I think is much more practical, okay? Um, for EMS fit, containers don't work as shortcuts. And for that, you have pure shortcuts on their own layer here, okay? So if you wanted to add a uh, heart rate a shortcut, you would have it here, okay? So here above the container. Uh, on Huawei, containers are shortcuts. So this is the main difference between Huawei and AMS Fit. And well, I think I um, covered all the, the information I wanted to convey to you regarding containers. They can be an organizer for data types, and they can work f as shortcuts for Huawei. On MS Fit, they're simply organizers of data types, and you can switch between them if you use these kind of containers. You can have normal containers, just like that, 
and have normal widgets inside. Or you can add a selectable container, this one, and add selectable containers inside, okay? And switch between them by clicking this app area, okay? So those were containers uh, covered um, on the contacts of Huawei and MSFit. I hope you liked this video and I really expect you to see you on the next one. So bye!